Hello guys and welcome to another Halo Wars 2 video. Now you've probably been wondering where I've been, why the videos haven't been regular. Well, I moved house and that took probably the best part of three months to do. But now we are back with this build order video for Serena. So, we did try and play this on controller because I feel like it is easier for people watching to follow where I normally do play on keyboard and mouse these days. Um, so, a few things are a bit off because uh, I haven't played controller for a few months now. Um, so, starting opener, just going to be opening standard double supply pad. And we're going to go into an early infantry ball with snipers on tech Sound one. Off, a lot Marines. of people don't really expect it from Serena. They expect the bison Marines, a lot, so they'll prepare for that. Two, so troops. snipers, Understood. Marines, Marines, and cryotroopers kind of really catch them off guard, generally. Get those so we're going to be going gen fed. Again, at the Marines. moment, in these early seconds of the game, we're just focusing on our pathing, picking up as many resources as we can, making sure our units are picking up all of the resources possible on the map, on um, and no delays, so no downtime uh, between your units picking up resources. This is why we use Q commands, Generator so if you are on Xbox, uh, right trigger serve. and X as you just saw Secure there on each Marines. bundle uh, or queue up commands so you don't have to go Marines. back and touch that unit until it's completed its path Local uh, on, and on Marines. PC you have a setting key for that it's normally shift and click so we're going barracks for, fourth because we want to get out some early barracks snipers some early cryo troopers to contest this early map Stand control now the good thing about serena is when you get cryo tech else. advances on your second point which you'll see us get very shortly when you take Watch power nerds there's an ice me, ring that comes around them which slows all of the enemies Marines, in there now, it's really good on bedrock and it's really good Marines. on front here, due to how narrow and small the choke points are so as per our other build Gotta order videos for beginners, uh, yeah. we do play against the AI, so Sound you'll figure off, out Marines. things in the uh, video are a lot easier for me. Uh, there's no nothing really contesting it, it allows me to demonstrate the build fully um, for everybody watching to understand. So Supply we're pad plop the uh, sniper on the ledge there just to get some vision and some map control complete. while we take our first power nerd. So we'll take cryotech oh, advances, go. you'll see that the cryo trooper instantly lead, starts Marines. getting a shield. We're under fire from air units. And because we're pretty much going all in on tech one, we're going to we be building uh, a second barracks on the mini there. The reason you don't put two barracks straight away on your main base is because you don't need it, you can't afford to build Get twice the units um, before getting your eco in check. So we're going to be spending every bit of resource possible to get as many units out as possible as we can. And the trick with Serena is to obviously pick up the power nodes uh, to deny your opponent. Uh, with the freeze aura, you can easily defend nodes because it takes them longer to actually take them. And the good thing about going on offense is that it's so easy to defend with Serena. Like you could have one turret and three watchtowers and everything that's attacking your base will just constantly get frozen. Not a problem. Just call me the fixer. Second gen going down on the back because we are spending a lot of power um, on tech one. So this is why we pick Local up power nodes. Uh, this is why we get double gen up. So three Move minutes it. 30. We're already 42 population out of 80. Our opponent probably will have anything All to units. stop this Sir. being the AI. Sir. All units. Where'd you want us, sir? And we'll bed what you have these nice structure. garrisons to put your snipers in if your opponent doesn't out. decide to take them. Remember, always make sure you upgrade your generators. Marines. So what we're going to do with the cryo troopers is the aura around them from getting the cryotech advances on second point actually freezes so we don't just all units attack like a turret or one pad you'll see us strategically positioning the cryo troopers around the base to make sure we are utilizing generator upgrade the freeze from the cryotech uh, shield The final enemy base is under attack. We won't always get cold now, I wouldn't normally go Bison until Have Tech 2 with Serena, but for the demonstration oh, of the yeah. video, uh, to get it over with uh, quite quickly, 
Um, if you're ahead, you can swap straight into Bison. So we're ahead right now. Uh, they did get into Tech 2, but their base is frozen. They have no eco. Uh, we're just going to waste these uh, these ice Armory blocks here because the enemy has no resistance at all. Obviously, in a, in a real structure. game, uh, your opponent is going to pull up some of a the fight. Uh, so just be wary of that when you're doing this. And there you go. You see the full base is frozen, so their eco is coming in super slow. And that allows us to get back ahead on eco from freezing their base after building all of those cryo troopers and snipers. I think it looks better that way. Cryo troopers ready to go. Now we're just going to talk a bit about getting into we're tech two. Um, so once you are into tech two, get your bison out and upgrade it immediately. Uh, you can go if you have a lot of cryo troopers still left from the initial rush. You can upgrade them as well. They are really good. They freeze faster, and they help the rest of your units catch them and take them out quite easily. An enemy structure has been destroyed. Ready to put the freeze in some so, leader power order. Uh, we normally go the ice blocks. Cryotech advances. Sure um, and then we start putting the points. We could either go heal uh, if we have an early bison now to be able to heal that. Attack. Or we can start putting points into the seismic blast the and cryo bomb. Uh, there's Serena's two best Ground things. We'll upgrade them kill. so you put two points into both of them. You actually get two of those now. Uh, there was an update a while back where you allowed you to get two of those rather than we just one covered. drop. On it. And that's always really good, especially in teams. If you, if you ever want to deal with that um, mass air, it's probably the best leader power to actually shut that down. On on enemy units. So, into tech the 2, you can go Kodiaks to support your infantry. Um, you can go straight into Warthogs. Warthogs are turrets. a Construct good unit. I didn't like the decor anyway. An enemy and the end game is just to get destroyed. your hogs out. There you go, there's the heavy cryo sprayer. Yeah, so the end game is just to choke your opponent out, try and freeze the base as much as possible, uh, crush the eco as much as possible, so you can get further and further ahead. You can either split off one cryo trooper to a mini base, shut that mini base down quite easily, um, and as soon as it becomes available, you want to get your big drop as well. So what you want to combo with your big drop is when everything's frozen. Uh, that provides a and shatter when it comes down as well. Destroyed. And you get two tanks for Serena. Upgrade um, complete. You don't even get that with Cutter or Consigner. That is a, a decent drop. Enemy infantry has us in their sights. Well, the base is we dead. Good kill the last jackrabbit with these ice blocks. Supply so you just need to be annoying and in your opponent's face with Serena. Make Fire sure the cryo troopers are doing a lot of freeze on their eco. Uh, and that's the way you you're going to win. Ready to intercept Out eco in your opponent. Again, as all the videos, make sure you expert at the correct times when you're ahead. Make sure you get the power nodes, clear out the minis. Always be doing something. Don't ever have your army sat there doing nothing. You want to be, even if it's just two units, split them off to a mini base, put them on hold ground because eventually they will kill it. And if you're battling to and fro with your opponent, they'll forget about it, you'll forget about it, and that mini will end up getting killed and benefit you later in the game. So, guys. This is going to be the end of this Serena build order video. Uh, I promise to get more videos out shortly. I want to finish the beginner guides first before I move on to the actual ladder in real time videos that I'm going to commentate on for the advanced guys. But as always, thanks for watching. Drop the video a like. Make sure you join my Discord. I am offering like free training on Mondays now um, on my Twitch stream. So I'm helping out a lot of players in the Discord get better. So if you do have any questions, make sure you join the Discord. I'll answer everything uh, as quickly as possible for you. Um, and just enjoy and improve the game. If anybody has watched all my recently, guys, and it has helped you improve, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear the stories of how high you've managed to uh, climb, if you've hit any plateaus and how I can help you get over them. Thank you very much, guys.